I am so hungry, so. This is like, honestly, a bit early for me. I just wrote something for the first time. I know you're somewhere out there. So I got goosebumps in the middle. Hi guys! A lot of you guys have commented on my videos asking me to audition for K-pop entertainment. To be honest, I am a little too old to audition now. So I thought, why not do a video on training like a K-pop trainee for a day. I did some research online to see what a typical K-pop trainee day would look like. And I also asked one of my friends who used to be a K-pop idol, what did she do during her trainee days? So with all the information I gathered, I came up with this schedule and I'll be following this for this video. Let's get back into the video. Oh my God. Alexa, stop. Good morning guys, it's currently 9.30 a.m. This is like honestly a bit early for me. I'm usually a night owl. I stay up really late. Do you see this dark circles is from staying up late? I literally look like a panda right now. Let's get started on a day of training like a K-pop trainee. So for lunch, I'm eating Kapow. This actually tastes really good. It's definitely on the healthier side. Technically, as a K-pop trainee, usually during lunch, they just eat like a lunch box with like carbs, some veggies, and some meat. I thought this would be like a good match to that. So I am so hungry, so cannot wait to eat right now. So good. I'm happy now. Hi, Helen. <laughs> I can't. Time, time, time. time. <laughs> Give me a background, I guess, of your vocal experience or like singing experience, I guess. Well, I've never really like actually trained. I love singing, so I would just like sing on my own, practice on my own, like. Did you ever kind of know what your range was, like testing your range in terms of like notes or? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna send you a scale that I do, which is like my basic scales that I use to warm up. You're doing good. Your lips are gonna get numb for a little bit. Oh my god, my mouth is so numb. <laughs> I know. It's a lot. I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. I sit by myself, talking to the moon. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice. I guess I kind of like the way you know I'm all the pain Now the day bleeds into nightfall And let my guard down And then you pull the rug Oh my gosh, okay I like this one a lot actually, I got goosebumps in the middle No way! It's really good, I like this one a lot Your main kind of goal would be to widen your range, especially in the upper register High, yeah, high nose like I would love to like sing higher notes with my chest voice. I was sometimes I wish I have a higher voice. <laughs> like I wish oh. I had those like high pitched girl voice, you know, like the girl group voice. <laughs> I used to be like that, and then I kind of realized that. Yeah, I don't we, know, both, I we both have like the more deeper like voice, you know. I told, I told you we, we need a more glitter. <laughs>
That was strange, damn. <laughs> the first couple of things that I would suggest is relax your face. I know it's so tempting when you sing high notes to like scrunch. I do that all the time, even I've sang like for a long time. It's still such a hard thing to change. And also don't be afraid to be loud. That's one thing I will always say. <clears throat> no, no, no. And I tend to close my eyes when it hurts sometimes. I fall into your Nice. You keep working on that, it's gonna start sounding better, it's gonna start tuning up. Honestly, a huge improvement from what I'm seeing. Does it sound better to you? Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> so that's it, yeah. Great job, uh, great voice, good job. You're a really fast learner and it's really great always to work with someone who is able to pick up on it, so. Good job. You're, and you're a great coach. That's it. That was your first time. Yeah. I mean, I've given tips to people before, but not really God. blown. Wow. Guys, if you if you need vocal coach, <laughs> sign, up sign, sign up, sign up. Yay. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse Green class For dinner, we have salad, of course. I really hope that this will fill me up and I won't get hungry afterward. I probably will get hungry after this. <laughs> I honestly haven't eaten just salad for dinner in a while, so. Let's have a good I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> This is kind of sad. <laughs> I really want some like McDonald's or like fried chicken or something. <laughs> So I've never really written songs before. I'm just finding type beats I like and what I'll do is I'll listen to it and I'll try to like sing on top of it. <laughs> it's honestly pretty challenging for me. It's definitely new, but everything takes practice, so.
guys, I just wrote something for the first time. Oh okay, I'm gonna keep recording. I kind of like it, but you know, it's my first time, so it's not obviously it's not perfect. It's not crazy unique or good, but at least I wrote something. I'm gonna keep cooking. Okay. Well, that was basically a day of me training like a K-pop trainee. And I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Denise for helping me out and be my vocal coach for this video. And to be honest, I've always dreamed of becoming a K-pop idol. So I guess that was a mini version of it. Kind of had a taste of what it's like to become a K-pop trainee. Overall, I had a lot of fun. It's definitely not easy. I'm sure my schedule is probably way more lenient. They probably do a lot more compared to the schedule I made for myself. Honestly, it's not easy to be a K-pop trainee or a K-pop idol and I really respect what they do. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. I know I mostly just post my dance cover. This year, I want to do more long form videos, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.